Hey guys, welcome back to Watch It Paint It. Austin here. Got another unboxing for you for some Marvel Crisis Protocol action. So this is one of those extra miniatures you can purchase for the core set. It's the most important miniature. It's the greatest miniature of all, Hulk himself. All of these extra miniatures that you can purchase for Mar Marvel Crisis Protocol are going to come in boxes similar to this. On the front of the box, you're going to get a representation of what it could be painted like or a style. Now granted there are tons of hulks out there and you can choose whatever you want when it comes to color scheme. I think I may buy a second one to do a gray hulk, but who knows, maybe they'll even bring out a gray hulk, you know, hero card. On the back of the box, you've got Hulk's bio and his basic information. You've got a content list, so inside the box you're going to get one hulk miniature, one base, a character stat card, three ta uh, team tactics cards, one crisis card, and 15 tokens. And then right here at the bottom it says miniatures are supplied unassembled and unpainted just so you didn't get your hopes up that this guy was inside here all done for you, right? So let's check out what's inside the box. So right off the bat we've got our character stat card inside this wonderful baggie. Always save your baggies by the way. Always. You never know when you're gonna need a good small baggie for a new game's tokens or just to clean up a mess. So the stat guard, artwork's pretty cool. Uh, his health is 20, his movement is slow. He's considered four when it comes to height. He has got a physical de uh, defense of two and a power defense of two. Sorry, excuse me, a power defense of two, if I can get those out of my mouth, go figure. I, I kind of like this ability, Gamma Leap, so we get to see him leap across the board. So that's probably why he's so slow in standard movement. Now most, if not all, of these stat cards always have a damaged version of the character. However, the Hulk on my card doesn't. He's exactly the same on both sides. Whether this is a misprint or not, I don't know, but I imagine the Hulk never really gets damaged. He just kind of gets stunned and knocked out. Inside the rest of the bag, we've got, looks like the 15 tokens they were talking about. We've got what looks like re regular objective tokens or things you can contest with. We've got some damage tokens, some more power tokens, because you always need those, and then three gamma tokens, which are specific to his crisis card, his mission card. Inside, we've got our three tactics cards, excuse me, what are they called? Yes, team tactics cards, that's correct. We've got anger management, which is a pretty cool ability. Your ally, who's within three inches, or three, can damage Hulk and make him more angry so he does more damage. Seeing red, rea it's a reactive ability. And we have Gamma Launch, which you can launch one of your ally characters across the board at another enemy and do damage. That's pretty cool. And then we have our Crisis card, which is Gamma Waves Sweep Across the Midwest. So this is basically Hulk's mission ability. So I imagine that all of these miniatures that come in boxes like this will come with their own Crisis card or their own separate mission that adds to the core set. All right, what else is inside here? We've got, oh, well, that's, that's interesting. My miniature's not packed in a baggie, go figure. So here we have the Hulk miniature. We've got its base, which are highly detailed, some manhole covers, some crackage, and you can place them anywhere you want them on the base. I typically use super glue, the gel type, because it's a lot easier to, to adhere it to the base or just here, adhere them together in general. He's a fairly big miniature. Looks fairly straightforward to put together. Bet you the, the rest inside. Yep, that's what I thought. Read this first, which I imagine on the back side it's going to show us the instructions. What do you think? Oh, let's see. Yep, there's the instructions. Step by step. Now, if you want to see an assembly video of any one of these miniatures that we do in unboxing, just go ahead and let us know down in the comments. Uh, we'll be happy to do that. Show you the proper procedure of cutting them off the sprues, getting them all cleaned up, and then gluing them together. If you like the video, by, by all means, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gaming. I'll see you around.